बड़ी स्टूडेंट ऑफ हॉट लैंग्वेज नेपाली टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू मॉम द सेम चैप्टर अनुभवता आचार्य दैट इज दिस कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द पार्ट फ्रॉम वेयर वी हैव स्टॉप है ना कंटिन्यूएशन दिस ओके फ्रॉम वेयर वी हैव स्टॉप सो वंस मोर आई विल रीड वंस अगेन आई विल रीड देन फ्रॉम वेयर वी हैव वी हैव स्टॉप देयर फ्रॉम देयर आई आई विल एक्सपेक्ट ओके सो भानु भक्त आचार्य हामी भानु भक्तलाई नेपालीका आदि कवि भन्दछौ आदि कवि भनेको पहिलो कवि हो भानु भक्त नेपालीका पुराना कविहरु मध्ये पहिला ठूला कवि हुन् यसकारण हामी उसलाई नेपालीका आदि कवि भन्दछौ नेपालको तनहु जिल्लामा रम्मा रम्गा भन्ने गाउँ छ विक्रम संवत अठार सौ एकहत्तर साल को असार उन्ती ग उन्तीस गते का दिन उन्नी तेई गांव में जन्मे थे भानुभक्त का बुबा को नाम धनंजय आचार्य हो बाजे को नाम श्रीकृष्ण आचार्य हो भानुभक्त ने बाजे श्रीकृष्ण आचार्य घरम लेखन पढ़ना सिके एटा घासी कुराकानी भे भानुभक्त का मन में मानस को भलाई करने विचार आयो उनके रायण लेखे तो विचार पूरा गयो भानुभक्त ने रायण बाहे बधु शिक्षा भक्तमाला राम गीता प्रश्न उत्तर माला लेखे टी हियर बी रिश नाम फ्रम हियर बी हेव टू आई विल एक्सप्लेन भानुभक्त ने लेखे रायण में सातवटा कांड उनको रायण लानुभक्त रायण भाई विक्रम संभव उन्नीस सौ पच्चीस साल में चौवन वर्ष को उमेर में भानुभक्त को मृत्यु भो उनको मृत्यु भे तापनी आप कविता में उन्नी बाची उनबिर्सना का निति प्रत्येक वर्ष असार उन्तीस गति का दिन हम भानुजन जयंती मना के भानु भक्त वहाँ ने शिक्षा घरम हासिल कर बाजे बाजे श्रीकृष्ण आचार्य को हेचा में भानुभक्त ने स्कूल में आए तर घरम शिक्षा लिखे क्यों उसका बाजे एकदम पंडित थे ज्ञानी थे इसलिए वहाँ ने श्री कृष्ण राम श्रीकृष्ण आचार्य ने आपको नाती घरम नहीं शिक्षा हासिल करे थे घर में नहीं पढ़ाई सकते थे रहाँ एक भानुभक्त ने धरें पढ़े पढ़े एकदम पंडित भैस थे ज्ञानी भैस थे एकदम इंटेलिजेंट वाइस हि वॉज रिट के भेरी वाइस बिकज लट्स अफ विस्टम लट्स अफ नलेज हि हेव गट फ्रम हिज ग्रांड फादर श्रीकृष्ण आचार्य फ्रम हिम हि हेव गट द नलेज एवरीथिंग एज एजुकेशन ऑल हि गट फ्रम होम ओनली फ्रम हिज ग्रांड फादर सो वन डे वेन हि वॉज गोइंग अराउंड बेकिंग अराउंड इन दिस प्लेस so he saw one man poor man simple man cutting grass so he asked that man what will you do after cutting this grass what are you going to do with this grass we never said that you go and get to cow but uh, this man the simple man not this man was what he was doing he after cutting he used to sell that grass he used to sell that grass and some amount of money he used to get and with that money he wanted to make a pond i have told you last time also pond kua banunu tha ko lai why because in that village i think there might not be a might not be a, a drinking water plenty of water drinking water was not there that's why he wanted to make in that village also one pond where he can feed up the drinking water from uh, from the uh, bringing from the source and put them so the people can take people take can uh, take the water from that pond that is what the high thinking what the lofty thinking that this grass cotton gashi has thought in his mind huh? and that lesson he got he was motivated bhanu bhakta was motivated by saying that what he said to anu bhakta he was motivated totally motivated huh? he influence he got the influence from that gas fire huh? then 
then and there he made a poem, then and there. First, he wrote a kavita, that was Gashi. Gashi was made a kavita, and he made a kavita. He made a kavita, and he made a kavita. He made a kavita, and he made a kavita. He made a kavita, and he made a kavita. Gashi Dharitra Tara Bhutti Kasto Mabhanu Bhakta Bhai Kana Aja Yesto Yesto Kharke Vada Kavita Kutti Kutti Ne Banayo Ra Ulle Yesari Aapule Vada Yago From now on I am also I will also do the good things for my people From now on This simple man that this poor man is He has a lofty thinking A desire he has a high desire he has got there is also a noble desire, noble desire, he wanted to give water, he wanted to give water to the people, that is a very noble deed he had. But I, being a Bhanu Bhakta, being a Pandi, being a rich man, I don't have that kind of desire at all. I have not kept this kind of desire, I, I, because I am living in a selfish world. I am living in the selfish world, what he was thinking. But the poor man who I think he used to get only price for day price a uh, meal only he used to get he used to eat but still in spite of that the poorness still this man this grassy wala this grass cutter had very high desire noble desire he has got he wanted to teach the noble teach he wanted to do for the people for the betterment of the society so now Bhanu Bhakta also has decided to do good for the noble deeds, noble good he was to do for the society. So, what he did, then after, Ule Raman Lekera Kyo Bichar Pura Gare, what he was thinking in his mind. Huh? So, he has fulfilled that after writing Ramayana. After writing Ramayana, he has fulfilled that desire. So, now even simple people can read that. It was in the Sanskrit language. He has translated that Ramayana from Sanskrit to into Nepali. So that even a simple man, even simple people, even a simple a man, woman can also read this Ramayana. They can also experience now the feeling that uh, experience about the God. The Ram, Sita, the Haruman, they can also get experience by reading in Nepal. So, this work, Bhanu Bhakta has fulfilled his desire as the grass cutter, Dasiwala, had a desire. He also wanted to do the good things for the society, good things for the people, that from now on I also want to do that he wrote the Brahman, he translated into. Nepali, that Ramayana, in a simple way, so that every character from the grassroot of the grassroot table also can read, can understand the Gita, Ramayana, is here. This way he had fulfilled his desire. Bhanu Bhakta le Ramayana bhai Bhadu Sitcha Bhakta Mala Ram Gita Prashnota Mala Pani Leke. Apart from that, Bhanu Bhakta had written Ramayana bhai Bhadu Sitcha Bhakta Mala Ram Gita Prasno Dharmala Pani Leke, he has written these things, this kind of kavya, he said, he has written. Bhanu Bhakta Le Leke Ko Ramen Ma Satata Kanda Chan. In Ramen, where the Ramen which one Bhanu Bhakta had written, there is a Satata Kanda Chan, it has a different branch, Bhachan, Satata Bhachan Isma. उनको रामेन लाई आनु भक्तिया रामेन भनिन्छन् वहाँले लेख्नु भएको रामेन जुस वहाँले संस्कृतबाट नेपालीमा ट्रान्सलेट गर्नुभयो फ्रम वेर फ्रम संस्कृत टु इन नेपाली ही हेज ट्रान्सलेटेड दैट रामेन दैट ही हेज रिटन इज कॉल्ड आनु भक्तिया रामेन आनु भक्त रामेन भनेर हामी चिन जान्न सकिन्छौ कि बिकज ही हेज रिटन दैट रामेन that's why we can come to know now it's called Ramayana Bhanu Bhaktiya Ramayana Vikram Sambhat Unaiso Patrishalma 
चौवन वर्ष को उमेर में भानुभक्त को मृत्यु भो दर अफ नाइन्टीन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव दर अफ नाइन्टीन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव वेन यू वॉज ओन दिफ्टी फोर इयर्स एज यंग नट दैट मच ओल्ड ओनली ही वॉज फिफ्टी फोर इयर्स ओल्ड दैट टाइम ही डाइड In the year of 1925, Osti, we have done in Nepal. That's why I'm saying this Nepali uncle is a very important for you. You have to know because you have to say here. Untis, yeah, let's say Unai so patchis, Unai so patchis, Unai so patchis. Salma, Chawan Barsa Kumerma, Chawan Barsa, 54 years age ma. Kumerma Bhanu Bhakta Kumiti Mayu. In the year of 1925. When he was uh, 54 years old, that time he died. Unko mitu bhai ta pani apna kabi ta aruma uni bachi na ekar chhun. Although he is not with us, he is not with us now. But he is whatever the poems, whatever the, he has written the books, Ramayana, whatever he has written now, kevre. In that. Books in that poems, and uh, he is still alive. He is still alive in that poem. Whenever we open this poem, whenever we, whenever we read the Ramayana the, that he had written, books, then yes, we come to know still he is alive. He is still alive. So here he is saying that in his read, writing, in his write. Writing in poems, whatever poems, books, Ram, you know, here we find him alive. He is still living there. He is still living there. Unai no vishna kaniti pratek borsa asa untis gate ka din ami bhanu bhakta jayti banau chau in order to not to forget, in order not to forget, in order not to forget to remember him always every year. So okay, in Asar ko din, in Asar, ham monsoon season mein lai gaye, in monsoon season, Asar, what we do, ha? We celebrate this anniversary. We celebrate this any Bhanu Jayanti one of them. We celebrate anniversary of Bhanu Bhakta. So its called name is a Bhanu Jayanti. Yo Bhanu Jayanti. Untis gate ko din hami manau chhu. Asar ko untis gate ko din hami manau nahi kar chhu. Every year right? in July last last month only in July I think in twelve or in thirteen in Greenham also celebrated our student also had participated and you know? many were there dancing reciting the poems and some of them have got a what do you call uh, certificates also you know on this occasion on this occasion Bhanu Jayanti our school also had participated some of them came first second also. Uh, so this way, in order to remember him forever, once a year in Asar, my my wife call in Bhanu Janti, we always remember him. We always respect. We give respect him. We always give respect to him because he is our first Nepali poet. First Nepali poet. He has he, because of him today we are we can read Nepali nicely very easily because of him only. That's why in order not to forget him, we want to remember him always once a year. The Bhanu Jayanti or Sar Untis Gatte Udin. What will happen? We always remember him. We keep we, we keep respect to him. So in this on this day in many schools now because of this pandemic time nothing is happening. Now otherwise in many schools we organize the programs. And then many school their programs is being organized. Uh, so rock, guitar, Nepali dance, everything will be uh, done there. Every be everything will be done there. So this is what about the Bhanu Bhakta Acharya. He said, if we go there, it's a long story. He has got long, very he has many books are there. We, if you want to go and in library, you can find it there. 
you can find you can read about the one of the in detail you will get it okay so for today this much only so what you have to write first solve the author write in your copy then after question mark question answer do first the one or two one you go one number to pure question answer do each one you have to write you have to write a little small small words you have to write you write a sentence in such a way filling the blank start number to one you पांच नंबर ठीक शब्द छाने खाली ठाव भर रंबर तल का वाक्य ठीक करें लेख करेक्ट कर ऑल इन टी एंड नेक्स्ट टाइम आई विल सेंड यू द करेक्शन सो नेक्स्ट टाइम वी विल लर्न अबाउट द नेपाली महीना नेपाली महीना नेपाली मंथ्स अबाउट द नेपाली मंथ्स एंड नेपाली ऋतु नेपाली ऋतु सीजन अबाउट द सीजन एंड द मंथ अफ नेपाली वी लर्न नेक्स्ट मंथ ओके Thank you. Be safe.